I want to introduce you to Ali El Amori from A1 Telecom in this episode of Agile Digital Business. This is episode 19. Ali is going to be my guest again in a future episode. So he and I did just this very short interview. I'm always curious about using different technology to record the podcast. And I like the idea of being mobile. And I have a couple of different setups I use. But this was an instance where all I had available in the moment was my smartphone. And I always keep a lavalier mic in my purse. I know, geek, right? (laughs) I, I'm sure there are other uh, women podcasters out there that keep microphones in their purses or their handbags. <laughs> anyway, you're going to hear a difference in the audio because I was using a different setup. I had this short conversation with Ali. He was a participant in an executive education program in which I was doing a presentation about preparing for voice first and voice search and what we need to be doing as leaders to help our companies and the people who are working for us and with us to get ready for what's coming with voice search. And he was a part of that and was very fired up to get some things implemented right away in his company. I'm going to let you hear what Ali has to share. He talks specifically about some of the statistics I was sharing as a part of that presentation about uses of video and how video is very involved these days in the consumer's pathway to a purchase. I'm fired up that this was a takeaway that was useful for him. And let's let's go to the conversation with Ali. Let him tell you a little bit more And know that I have a longer interview scheduled with Ali for a little farther out into the calendar. If you haven't already subscribed to Agile Digital Business, I invite you to become a subscriber to the show. You can do that in whichever podcast player you like to use. Or if you like to listen to it online, you can find it at my Libsyn blog, which is vickimaris2.libsyn.com. Ali, thank you for being a part of the program and for sharing your feedback about your takeaway from this particular session. I really do appreciate your enthusiasm for this topic and that you have put it into play right away in your business. And thanks for agreeing to the upcoming longer conversation that we'll have for the podcast. I am really looking forward to finding out more about what you're doing at your company, A1 Telecom, to make some adjustments for the uses of the voice platform. She's an author, instructor, conference speaker, and I write songs and play music with her. Hi, my name's Scott Greeson. Let me introduce you to my wife, Vicki Maris, the host of Agile Digital Business Podcast. I am in the room with Mm -hmm. Ali Elamori, who was present in September when I did a conference session on voice search and voice search marketing and how we as businesses can be preparing for what we need to be doing to meet our consumers in the way that they are doing searches for us. And Ollie's going to do a longer interview with me in the future. I wanted to let you hear what he has to say on how he's already put some of these things that we were talking about into action. And in fact, he sent me a LinkedIn message with, it was within the day, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. To say exactly how he had already conveyed some of it back to his team at his company which is A1 Telecom, and he'll give us more detail about what his company does. That we'll cover in the longer interview, but just to give you a little bit of foundation, it's a communications company, and they interact with consumers. They're creating some products of their own and also a distributor for other products. So I'm picturing things like police scanners and walkie-talkies. Ali is nodding his head right now, so okay, good, I got that right. Um, Ali, I'm going to hand the mic over to you. Would you share a couple things, maybe just like a couple of high-level, actionable things that you picked up from the talk, and what did you put into play in your business? Absolutely. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you so much. Uh, It's a pleasure to be here and talking with you 
Um, and I, I, I want to start with saying that uh, uh, your passion for uh, this type of uh, uh, material is uh, uh, one uh, that I haven't really seen in another light. And uh, it really shows uh, with the information and the way in which you presented it. Um, and first and foremost, I thank you for that. So um, in addition to that, um, I, I'll also say that, yes, uh, you, you, your presentation was moving, moving in a lot of ways that uh, there are uh, so many things that are that are going on right now that many of us are not even aware of, whether our realm is marketing, whether our realm is uh, overseeing operations, whether our realm is literally buying the family groceries online. Um, the, the, the key is this is the, the, the future um, and why not be prepared for it? And, and, and uh, the things that you brought out or brought to my attention were uh, way above anything that I had seen before. Um, and just, you know, just to give a little teaser directly to that, uh, something that we immediately, uh, I had my team jump on, um, you gave a statistic about um, the, the percentage of individuals who uh, purchase, make a purchase uh, that's uh, relative to a video search that they saw. Uh, uh, with results in a video such as maybe a YouTube link that showed directions or someone giving a testimony on a product was an outstand outstandingly high number. I think it was, uh, and I don't remember the exact statistic, but that's the truth about the matter. It doesn't even matter. It was it's something like 50 plus percent. And uh, immediately uh, in marketing our brand and our products, we wanted to be part of that 50%. The decision was made uh, in one way or another via voice searching, um, uh, with some marketing materials. So immediately started working at this and utilizing some of the tools uh, that you presented. So I just want to say, Vicki, look, I, I can't guarantee you a profitability from, from, from what it is that we took, uh, but I will say uh, with the utmost sincerity, thank you. Uh, and I support you in every way, shape, or form. And uh, I look forward to uh, speaking more in depth with you about all of that. Uh, and certainly, again, thank you. Thank you so much, Ali. I, the uh, statistic I think you are referring to is the number of, or the percentage of us that are using video as part of our pathway to a buying decision. Absolutely. And it's high. The, well, the prediction for this year for 2019 was 80% of us use video yes. in some way, shape, or form as we're heading down that path to a, to a purchase. And that's caused me to really amp up the work I've been doing it with my YouTube channel, which is not yet very fancy or anything, but I'm getting some videos out there so that people can get those questions answered. You're adapting, and we're all we're all adapting, and it's such a fascinating thing to have the um, the knowledge uh, that you present. So thank you again for for helping us make those adaptations and prepare for the future. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much for Absolutely. being a part of this. And I can't wait to do the longer interview where we dig in a little farther on how your company is making some preparation to get ready for voice search. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it just as much as you are. So thank you again. I can't wait for that conversation. All right. All right. Ali, thank you again for the conversation. I do look forward to our next conversation where we go into more depth on what your company is working on to prepare for the trends that we're seeing in voice search. I want to offer this quick reminder that if you would like to follow the resources that I'm posting in my social channels, you can either follow me in LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook or I'd be honored to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. The hashtag I often include in my social media posts or tweets include hashtag Agile Digital Biz for things that are related to the podcast or resources that are related to things I have spoken about in the podcast. And I also use the hashtag teach, inspire, connect. So those two hashtags will help you find the content that I have been sharing. If you would like to share it out further in your social channels or read articles or check out YouTube videos that have been great resources for me. As I wrap up this episode, which is episode 19 of Agile Digital Business, I ask that you take a screenshot and share it with somebody that you would like to invite to subscribe to and listen to the show. As you head out into the rest of your week, look for opportunities to teach, inspire, and connect. <laughs>